home to one of Africa's crown jewels, the majestic Mount Kilimanjaro. Rising some 19,000 feet, Kilimanjaro is the highest mountain on the African continent. Tanzania is home to thousands of people from the Maasai tribe. Tall, slender and athletic, these colorful pastoral people have for centuries roamed the vast open spaces along Africa's east coast. They live much the way their ancestors did many, many years ago. Their cattle are their way of life. The spear and plowshare, essential tools for survival. Time here is governed by the rising and the setting of the sun. And in recent years, Maasai villages like this one in northeast Tanzania Jamila's is just one story in the sea change that has come about in Afghanistan thanks to the telecommunication revolution, now into its fourth year. The mobile footprint already covers nearly 60% of the nation. The government-owned Afghan Telecom has also built its own reach to the people through 165,000 fixed digital lines spread over 24 provinces. A district communication network, or DCN, linking common people across 53 far-flung districts till date has also been built with help from USAID. Each communication kiosk has telephone, internet and fax facilities. Shardor is a brick maker in the Kalakan district, just north of Kabul. He uses the network to check on deliveries dispatched to customers outside of Kabul and other towns.
Today, they're taking a rare taxi trip to visit Renuka's older sister, Dewama. She's already married and lives in another village about an hour's drive away. Renuka doesn't get to see her sister that often, so this is a big day out for her. Their journey takes them through acres of sunflower fields. It's a famous crop in this part of India. It's a beautiful scene, but as Renuka knows, harvesting the seeds is tough work. Of all the work we do, harvesting sunflower seeds is the hardest. The baskets are very heavy. The seed heads are sharp and rough. I don't like it. It's also dusty and dirty, and the threshing machine, hired in specially for the day, is expensive. It has to be kept going. The pace is relentless. If Renuka were to get a husband who was as rich, her mother would be happy to marry her off. The richer the husband, the higher the dowry. Radesh expects his wife to have a successful career as a secretary or a teacher. <laughs> this is just the start of the celebrations. Their wealth means they can afford several events to mark the occasion. The bride and her family will have their own party later. And then there's the wedding itself. It's a totally different world to Renuka's. Chale, <laughs> 